So today I'm going to do a reflection video on one of the TED Talks and the topic is my story of love and loss as a transracial adoptee which is presented by Sarah Jones. So back when Sarah was three years old, she was trans transracially adopted by from South Korea to Salt Lake City, Utah by white family. And when she first got there, the she got a tattoo removed from her forearm and by then she felt like the removal of the tattoo from her arm symbols the disconnecting from South Korea and her culture and being Asian. And while she was in America, she experienced culture shock, both from people building food and the culture there. And after a while she experienced a culture shock, she stopped speaking Korean, which nobody speaks in America. And after a while she starts to speak again, but only in English. And a big fact to know is that the Korean adoptees were the first massive wave of international adoptions in America, which are 30 years earlier than the other countries around the world. So one of the first things that I found interesting in this TED talk is that Sarah's father put the tattoo, the symbol tattoo on her arm and both of her two older brothers arm. So when they are adopted to other places in the world, they can find each other again with this symbol on, special symbol on their forearm and which means a lot so they they love their family very much and the second thing that I found very troubling to me is that the when Sarah got there and the, she goes to school it's really I would, I would say racist maybe like the white kids are making fun of her looks probably because she is Asian and maybe got small eyes and like it's yellow skins and I think people should try to embrace all the ethnic ethnicities from all over the world and be kind to everyone either you got different color different color skins or so you speak different languages or or even your transracial adoptee your adoption your you are you were a orphan before and now you have a family but you are raised by different race people or different ethnicity people and I think we just have to love each other and embrace everyone.